Hello everybody, welcome back to Colford and Dadford play a Telltale's Game of Thrones. After a prolonged break, not for you, for us, it's been a couple of days, so... Might be a little bit rusty, but we'll hop back into it. Dad, do you want to take helm of the controller and... Sure, Cole, I would love to do that! <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? X here? X, right? X or start. Oh, here we go. Waiting. Waiting, waiting. Well, you know, while we're waiting, you could more tell people. Waiting, more waiting. You could more tell waiting. people what you were doing. I was in Connecticut, Mystic, Connecticut, Groton, Groton, Long Point, Connecticut. My dad was with his boys. With some college boys, kind of like old school. We went streaking in the quad <laughs> with Canoe, Canoe. You're my boy Blue. My boy Blue Canoe. Blue oh, Skadoo, we can too. Now, do you remember anything that went down in the last episode? Uh, no. For Asher, for Roderick, for I'm, Garrett? I'm sure I will when I see it again. I'm sure I will. Okay. Sure. Thank So I'll, if you want a reminder, I'll give you a quick one. Quick little recap for all of our viewers as well. Sure. If you need it. Roderick is still at uh, war with the White Hills. Uh, he was, I think getting the assistance of the White Hill's daughter, Lord White Hill's daughter, or trying to maneuver something around there. Uh, you were just meeting Daenerys Targaryen with Asher. Garrod, uh murdered, <laughs> brutally murdered the man who killed his family on the wall. And we are in some deep shit there. Oh, that's right, we threw him over. Yep, I, I ended up uh, making some choices that might not have been the best for Garrod, but we'll see. And uh, Mira is now basically totally screwed in King's Landing. Uh, she has no friends, no allies other than the coal boy. So it's going to be a tough situation getting her out of there safely. Oh, hey, Kmon Falcone. How's it going? Where's the game, man? I want to play. It's Telltale, dude. I want to play the game! Told you. Telltale's got a load. Where is it? It loads fine once it gets into the game, though. You don't really have to wait for much. Okay, my Falcon 68. Hi, guys. Hi, okay, my Falcon 68. How are you? Wish someone else would say hello as well. Which means who? You? I'm talking about you. Oh, I just said hello. Yeah, he just said hello. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> Don't you want to go to your home? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! Ready? X? Yep. Oh, it's delayed. She said it's delayed. Yeah, there is a little bit of a delay. All right. Begin episode. Oh, my. What's that, then? Do the dead frighten you? That certainly frightens me. If that's what's, up, if that's what's coming up in this episode... What the hell is that, thing? I don't know if I want to leave the wall. What the hell is that thing? All right, ready? Robo, thank you very much for dropping by. Here to say hi, we're playing a game on stream. Very cool. Here, let me pull up your stream as well. See what you're playing. I think you were playing, uh, actually, I don't know what you were playing today. I wasn't on Twitch much today. Today, I had a day with my mom. Um, we went for, to donate stuff to a thrift sale. We went to uh, a brewery. We went to Dinner together, a little dinner, a lunch dinner. We got crepes. It was delicious. I got a strawberry crepe. It was very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, where is this game? Give me the game. Come on, man. Give the games. Come on, man. Hurry up. That's what takes so long out of these game loads. Oh my god. There's a lot of game jam packed in that disc. I was playing on PS3. The, the PS4 version probably loads a lot faster. Oh. So if my PS4 was fixed, we probably could be playing on that. Let's see. But Carly said she might get me the tools to fix my PS4 for my birthday. Woohoo! Birthday stream coming up in a uh, little, like, month and a half, about. 
Yeah, a month and a half, Colford. We got we to gotta plan what we're going to stream. It's going to be fun. I think I think I know what I'm going to play. Oh my All day. God, is this game loading or not? It's exhausting. He just wants to take I another nap. I play already. He wants to take another nap. Oh my god, I probably could have, and then woke up, and then here's the game. Here it is. Bet you wish you had a cup of coffee like this, don't you? Oh, I kind of do. Want to sit? Thanks, Colt. I think I can manage. If this game ever loads, maybe I can manage. Such a whiner, my dad. Well, yeah, because the game's taking like two him and, hours him and to my load, sister both, man. My middle sister both have no patience. It's five to eight. It's like been loading for ten minutes already. If something doesn't go like their way immediately, it's a no go. Time to change direction. Time to change uh, change it up. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Am I wrong? Came on, Falcone. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm just going to get angry. I'm getting angry right now, and when I get angry, I'm just going to kill everybody. He does get violent when he's angry. Yeah, you know what? You're going to die. Keep me waiting more. <laughs> Don't attack Daenerys Targaryen. Yep. Leave Daenerys Targaryen alone. I'm getting angry, and people are going to die. You need that army. Nope. Nope. Just that army, that army is the last hope for the foresters. You think so? I need the army? Daenerys' army? I think I do. Yes. So I you, there's no other armies coming. I, I screwed the pooch on both ends. So I, I, I need to be nice now? Unless I can turn the wildlings to, like, help the foresters. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, my God. You got to catch up. Ugh. The people got to catch up on what's going on. Oh, Gwen. That, I, that's I, her name, right? I can't hear it. Oh. Fixed. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Chat, how is the volume? Are we doing good compared to the game? Should I turn the game down a little bit? Turn us up a little bit? My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenn... Still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. Are you, what are you going to do about Lord of Whitehill? That's going to be all up to you. You still, you keep standing up to him. You keep pissing off his son. No tapping. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of
my dragons. You best choose your words carefully. Oh, did I tell you the internet crashed again? I got crashed while I was playing. So I don't know if something happened when they put in the new landline. Like when they had to reinstall it. Shit. Shit, maybe I didn't do with it. Okay. I don't know what it was. I wasn't running that things. I didn't know it crashed. Because people were telling me that it kept crashing. Are you going to be a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down? This is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep... Keep their end of the bar. <laughs> just, the pa just the pause on Ethan's death. Jesus. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. We did kind of abandon our brother. Kind of just left him in the White Hills care. You left. You left. Okay, to be fair, I did. There, there was a choice where it was you like you left him. Not it me. was like make. It was like go I after the fourthborn son your father, or I? save your brother, and I chose go after the fourth, the fourthborn son. So. I did kind of make a poor decision there, against my family, but, you know what, we have to stand up for ourselves a bit. This had to be done. Must, must have been done. Boom! Yeeted over the wall. Gateboy, what's going on? Nice to see you in chat. How are you today? Found his body. Excuse me, I'll take the helm. Wait, how do you know who it is? Because it's Garrett. How do you know? Because they're at the they're at the wall with the buddy's body. Not yet, hold on. Oh my god. Yep. Hand that over. No. Oh no, I wonder what happened. I knew you were a killer. The day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. So, in case anybody forgot, now I'm controlling Garrett and Mira. Uh, you what got the wrong man. Brother you really are. I'm controlling Garrett and Mira, and my dad is controlling man. Asher and Roderick. The wall Don't the... you stand there and fucking lie to me, boy. Somebody pushed that man off a 700 foot wall. Who pushed him you over the wall? I don't know. Could have been anyone, right? We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've All right, killed some one stuff of your brothers. Forward to this, forward you to lose your head really for this total. Oh, that's really glad to, I'm glad to hear that, gay boy. I'm glad You'll that you can come here and chill out. Dishonored and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, Ooh, I didn't I'm do gonna this. I'm going to swear by all the you gods I didn't blind. do it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing. I'm sorry to, be to hear done that stuff you. wasn't going good today. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to But hopefully we can time. chill out together, play some games, have some fun. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on then. Finn was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. Shit. Then tell us. He's gonna betray me. It wasn't Garrett's fault. We were on watch when Brit just attacked him. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. He's there defending me? The war wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for, for 
for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. You can't watch a man die and just. I decide what. What does he want? Is. He must want something. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Frostfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to cross. Yeah, yeah, let's turn You'll it around. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Uh oh. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. This isn't right. Brit's the murderer. Frostfinger has this all wrong. What Brit did to your family. Anyone would want him dead. But John... Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's no! head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. John Snow! So keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Please don't leave me behind, Mr. Snow. To your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Fuck. That sure is an opening. This time. This time I get to hear the intro. This is my first time hearing the intro. Not once in these episodes so far have I gotten to hear the intro. I'm so excited. Guardians of the Galaxy one. Really? Yeah. We could play that sometime. I'll try that. But like I said, so far this is like one of my favorite Telltale series. Up there with season one of Walking Dead. You're up. You are up, buddy. Okay, here we go, everybody. I'm gonna get some payback. Do you know how many men have Don't attack the nearest Targaryen. Other efforts. Of my dragons. Targaryens are off limits to fight. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars. Respect the Every woman. one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Oh, shit. <gasps> are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. My god. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. It's nice. Right. Be nice. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. 
Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be... Nova, how you doing today? Nice to see you in chat. Not a good Hope you're well. Did you have a lovely Sunday? I hope you did. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Ooh, the dragon's tooth. Drogon, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Ease Legion, her. they drew Ease. their swords and tried to fight him. And Need Drogon Daenerys. defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? She's you want you gold? Out. A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. Oh, there must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this oh true? Oh my. <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. All right. Are you selling out your buddy? Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. We'll Good help answer. you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Better be ready for some combat, buddy. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Pissed. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that?
Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Ooh. Beske. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. <laughs> Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. <laughs> Nail! We got two more. Trophy unlocked, let's go. Love to see it. We're all about collecting trophies around these parts. Roderick. Curse this bloody leg. Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer Roderick stay down in the mud. No. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? You gotta think sneaky. I'll show you. Come at me. Break for combat. <laughs> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for ah. me to attack. Roderick! <sighs> Let's try it again. Ah. Almost. <sighs> again. <laughs> I'm fine. Hell, I'm doing it. Fine. You gotta be patient, man. You just mash an axe. I did. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my what little brother? What does she need to say to you, I Quiver. wonder, I wonder? Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... That doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit uh -oh. at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! You can't marry him to House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father I, I... won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw it's that girl. howling dog. 
I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. What? I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's Why horrible. Why would you say that? Of course we do. You don't know what it's out. like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. some forces the archers let's go oh my god you brought your men i command father's elite guard these men are trained archers swordsmen experts in both ranged and close combat they're yours if you'll help us take down griff the whole guard 20 men my father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the reach what do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help Bang. both of us. Hurting Griff would start an all-out war. Lord Vital found out he'd have his whole army at our door within days. I understand your worry, Roderick. You aren't prepared for a war with the White Hills. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. You do. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even yeah, see it. Yeah, let's go! My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Aw, oh, you're a sweetheart. Oh, she's not gonna go. Is she gonna go for that? Oh, you're a sweetheart. Look at him. Need an army. We found out my dad's a sweetheart. Need an army, Cole. I need to get an army. Maybe I can get Whatever the... Whatever it takes. Like I said, maybe I can get the wildlings to help. Maybe that's what I'm doing up in the... Mop on the wall. I hope. Yeah, my turn. And for me to take the helm. Lady Mira, Lady Mira. I can't what? believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention wouldn't put it Cersei past her. and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. I wonder what we're gonna get to do now, as Mira. Oh, there's the coal boy. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. Your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. Uh-oh. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? What else, Tom? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her Sarah's to get you. not gonna help her. She'd do it, right? 
Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Hmm. Just be careful. Do I, do I blackmail Sarah with the secret she Cave gave me? Landing seems to have it in for you. I think that sounds like our best bet, correct? Also, a little loud. Nice, Nova. Very cool. I'll have to check them out. The list. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that'd be very spoiler, spoilery. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Honey cake? I have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. Is that the one who killed Britt? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here. Quick bite of honey cake. So I guess our only hope is the North Grove. Find a way out. Sack of onions. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. Yes, certainly grab if the food. If I ever find a way out of here. Bucket. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. We have in here sand's not gonna help us. Scraps of wood's oh, not gonna wood's help rotten. us. This is all bloody useless. Can I open it? Damn I don't it. Know what I, expected. <laughs> I don't know what I expected either. I thought maybe it was gonna work. Oh, what's this? Hole in the wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. stone hoo, hoo, hoo. but yes maybe there is a way out I can't move it won't budge Garrett got her what are you doing yo here? I heard him talking you're to be executed in the morning what about Finn he told nobody them. believes him or don't want to they think he's covering for you some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? Yeah, what? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? Aww. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett, to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. What was that face, Garrett? I can try and pick he was the lock, like, but he looked so sure lethal for a second. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Actually, trowel. That might be useful. Yeah, that probably would've been useful in the first place. Please, please. Garrett, what are you doing? 
getting out of here. Please don't let this fuck up. It. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. I'm so scared you of this pull, prison escape right, right now. that hey can you fit through I think we out oh I thought it froze for a second I got scared Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> ah, prison escapes are so scary. Oh shit. Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not frost finger? Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he is? You've run off with potato fucker over here. I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. We're brothers. He's coming with us. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. Um, Connor doesn't like it, it, but I'm bringing Finn along. Having Finn's another Finn's part of the lads now. Hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. The lads are adding up. <sighs> scary, scary, scary stuff. Intense. Things are heating up over on the wall. I wonder if Jon Snow and his party of rangers are going to come for us. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Please don't try to well, kill us. Mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. Yeah. Uh oh. Alarm has been wrong now. Then how fast can you run? Start at the Weeping Willow. Bye, Weeping Willow. Trophy on the Right, 
We're going to pause this episode right here for YouTube. YouTubers, if you enjoyed this episode of Colford and Dadford play Telltale's Game of Thrones, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing in the YouTube comment section right down below. It truly means a lot to us. All feedback, good and bad, goes to making this show that much better. We always like to hear what you have to say about the content. Other than that, please be kind to others out there. Please be kind to yourself. Uh, we'll see you next time for more Telltale's Game of Thrones from Colford and Dadford. We say bye. See ya.